want to have the best pals in the game i have refined a list of the top five pals you need in pal world in this video where to get them and basically what they're used for i'm giving away a copy of pal world in this video if you'd like to enter leave a like on this video leave a comment and make sure to come and join my discord it'll be the pinned comment at the top i've made a list of the top five pals you need in pal world now they all do specific tasks and they're definitely pals you need starting off with i think number one is a rib bunny now if you don't know what a rib bunny is it's this bunny type creature right here now you can find a rib bunny on this location on the map now what does a rib bunny do so going into sort of uh, mid to late game you're going to be crafting a lot of bullets for your weapons now the cool thing is about rib bunnies, what they actually have on them is a passive perk called skilled fingers so while in the team increases the attack power of neutral pals that one's decent uh, but while at the base, it increases the work efficiency if working at the weapon bench. So they are actually some of the best bullet crafters in the game. You wouldn't think it by just looking at them, but they are actually the best uh, pals to use for crafting bullets. If you have three of these on a uh, conveyor belt, it goes extremely fast. So if you're ever crafting bullets, you definitely need to get yourself some ribbonies. Once again, you can find ribbonies in this location on the map. And I think they're on level 15 to level 25. So plan accordingly. Coming up with number two. I think everybody needs this in the game. So this is a direwolf. Now the direwolf is probably one of the fastest mid game mounts in the game. Direwolves are going to pretty much help you explore the map. Uh, they're extremely fast uh, before i was actually using one of the deers um so before there was actually a buff with the deer where it could actually charge really quick but i think they removed it so now i think the fastest sort of mid game mount now is a dire howl um yeah the reason you obviously want this guy is because they're super fast they have a lot of stamina and they're just going to help you explore the map if you want to get a dire howl you can find it on this location on the map once again, I'm going to be marking the spawn locations on the map so you can sort of navigate your way from the spawn location to these areas. But yeah, get yourself a dire howl. Coming up next, one of my all-time favorites. You need this if you are trying to get a bunch of ore. Um, this is called a dig toys. Now, a dig toys is basically a Bowser, but its main thing what makes it so powerful is the amount of mining skill that it has so once again if you actually go to your pal management and you actually check the stats of your pals here you can see that they have a unique skill now the dig toys actually has the work suitability mining level three yeah it's one of the fastest miners in the game uh you definitely need to get one if you're looking to get some ore it's going to speed up your ore collection tremendously so this is basically how you use it. Now, I actually have a mining base, which I did in another video where I have a bunch of dig toys and they mine ore all day long. Go and watch that video if you want to do like a self-sustaining ore base. But this is what the dig toys does. You throw it out and it will mine the closest ore vein to it. And yeah, it will just drop a ton of ore on the ground. And this is way faster than just mining it normally with a pickaxe. The dig toys absolutely just shreds through the rocks and yeah, just depletes it so you don't even have to do anything and yeah let me show you guys my other base with the dig toys in them and you can see why this is actually so good so this is my mining base here all my dig toys basically mine the closest ore to them and then basically i have the vanna rims bringing the ore to the chest once again this is already explained in another video if you want to go watch that i won't blab too much but yeah you can find a dig toys on the map right here so be sure to go to that location on the map and you can find yourself a dig toys now dig toys out of all of these i think will be the hardest to catch if you're just starting out or maybe mid game i think they're around like level 25 to 30 so yeah plan accordingly for that and then this sort of brings us to our next pal which is the vanarim now the vanarim is one of my favorite in the game it looks extremely cool it's basically this this firebird but what makes the vanarim so special is it actually has a unique perk and i've noticed this happens with a lot of the flying 
type pals in the game. They're really good at transporting gear. So the Vanarim actually has transporting level three. Now, what does transporting do? Basically, if there's something on the ground, the Vanarim will pick it up and bring it to the closest chest. In this instance, what I'm doing is having the dig toys actually farm a bunch of ore. And instead of them picking up like one or two, they'll pick up like five to ten and they'll just bring it straight back to this chest by here. As you can see, I've got 174 ore in this chest and I haven't even done anything. Also, the stone as well, the wood. This is just the Vanarim going around this little mini farming base that I've built and just bringing it to the chests. So if you're ever looking to build a self-sustaining base, you definitely need a Vanarim. They're definitely one of the easiest, I think, pals to capture as well for that level three transporting. You can find a Vanarim on the map in this location right here. But yeah, finishing up, I just realized that was only four. We have one more left, which is the Arsox. Now, the Arsox is this fire dog right here. He is extremely good at smelting in the furnace. Now, the Arsox actually has Kindling Level 2. Now, for like a mid-game sort of thing, this is extremely good. As well, when you are catching these pals, be sure to check out their passive skills. Make sure they don't have uh, negative red ones that like obviously decrease their work speed because that's not good. So whenever you go out to catch these pals, make sure you just double check or just catch a few of them just in case because you can't actually tell what perks they have until you capture them so it's always best to capture like two or three of a new type of pal um but yeah once again these guys just absolutely destroy the furnace but yeah you can actually see here real quick how fast they actually smell ingots um if you'd like to find a r socks you can find it in this location on the map once again this is probably be quite one of the higher level pals to get um, but you definitely need one in your base if you're looking to just smelt the ores and stuff super, super quick. Um, but yeah, obviously there's better pals in the game. But for people who are just starting out and you're sort of mid-game, these are the best ones I highly recommend for you. And probably the easiest ones you can just go out and obviously collect. Now, granted, there's stuff like the, the Blaze Howl Knocked, which has like level 3 kindling, which is better than the Arsox. Obviously, you're not going to be able to get those just yet. So I will make a follow up video uh, going over the obviously the optimal pals you can get for sort of like end game. But for now, for those of you who have just started playing from launch, I highly recommend you go out and get these pals. There will be timestamps in this video if you want to check out uh, a specific pal and also the location of that pal. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying pal world. And once again, we are starting up a community server soon. So if you'd like to join that, be sure to come and join my Discord. It will be linked at the top of the comment section. Um, hopefully as the game progresses, we're going to have like events and stuff in the server where you can earn obviously cool stuff and just rewards and yeah, just like gift cards and stuff like that. But with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video and peace.